Today I'd like to dive into more about how they're actually doing this. And what better way to do that than with a 10 year old, that's Stella, running the uh, milking operation. Up early this morning with the cows. So let's wait until she pulls up the next ones and then we'll get the step-by-step -step process. Step number one, bring in a couple of cows. Step number two, finagle the stubborn cow into the stanchion. Stop. Lock the brace. Wash off the teeth. You'll notice they're nice and clean because these cows are on pasture all night. Stella, you're showing us how it's done this morning, girl. Connect your milk machines. I put the milk stuff together. There you go. Milk going through that already? Yep. Did you turn on the uh, vacuum yeah, there? This is the. This makes the. From here, this is the pulsator, and okay. it brings it down here, and then it pulses back and forth. Okay, she's got a pulsator here. She had to. She turns it on there at the end, so it can start having a suction or pump. And she pushes it, push, push those on. How do they know when it's their turn? They just come in whenever they want. We don't um, do it in order, okay. but yeah, they just come in. So it's not always in the same order. No. Yeah. But they do know to go two by two, yeah. don't they? Uh-huh. Okay. Are you holding that for a reason? Yes. I'm just pushing down so it'll help to go a little faster. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You, you aren't helping? Do you guys come out and help milk the cows? No. He Why came not? out for your boys. Oh, yeah. you came out for our boys. This cow's almost done, and how I can tell when she's done is that her udder will look empty and they'll have Sort of ah, let me get a shot of that there. She's telling me that you, the cow's almost done and the way you know is you can tell that the udder gets empty and you can see those lines there, the wrinkles. Yeah. And you can see up here this white tube yeah. that, this way. And you can see that she's not giving barely as much. Yeah, there's no more milk going through the tube. So you release so the valve down it. there. Yeah, see, I can just yep. pull this okay. and then I can push it back on. But what I do... Go ahead and pull it again. There you go. And then I just pull okay, it and pull it a little bit more. Do you know how to milk by hand? Yes, I do. Because we have goats and I uh, help do that. And it's pretty much the same. Next step, she shut off the main herd back there. Release the bar. Look, look at that. They're in such a habit, they know. Let's see where she goes. And then she's gonna hang out right here with all you others. You guys ready to go? You looking pretty ready to go. All right, let's see her open this up. Next. Stella makes that look easy. Dan, have you ever done that before? No. What age are you gonna start doing that? Uh, first I'm gonna start um, bottling. Bottling, okay, so you work up to this big job, huh? Okay. About I'll start uh, when I'm like eight. Oh, how old are you? Six. Okay. And we got the apple cider vinegar going in there. We're kind of at the bottom of the barrel. This is a feed barrel. He's made out of an old plastic barrel. He's cut a V shape in there. This is cool. And he puts that apple cider vinegar in there. They can take it or leave it. They put a scoop of alfalfa pellets it may help keep them i don't think it's to keep them occupied you're not you're not putting it in there to keep them occupied are you dennis no, we don't feed them anything in the, in the summertime so it's no, the health regimen so okay so after you get you guys fill this up with the pump you're pouring this in here this is a cream separator well this is that's just a filter and a bucket oh. to hold it for you, now you got the filter and the bucket to hold it so it's filtering out any dirt or scum or Anything like that. If we were making milk, all you'd have to do is filter this and it would come out this spigot right here. But we're making cream, so we're gonna run it through the cream filter. 
He's got ice cream on his mind. We're gonna do an ice cream party here in a couple of days. Let's talk about the milk machine for a second. Not necessary, maybe for three or less cows. I had two cows, I had two milking cows and we bought the milk machine, we didn't know. And I had been hand milking before that, bought the milk machine. They were like, it's more trouble to do the milk machine at this point. So you would only want to do it if you got several cows. But let's see how it works. We've got the pulsator here at pumping. It's mimicking a calf sucking on the cow. And it's vacuuming, pulling it through. The air is coming through the pulsator. The milk is coming through the line. It's coming in down to the stainless steel catch. And then we have, let's follow this. The pulsator line. This goes back to the motor. Okay. These two pulsator lines coming together around the building. You gonna show us? Dan's gonna show us. Into the vacuum pump. Oh, look, look, look. <laughs> One of them are awake. That's Jonah. They look a lot alike sometimes, don't they? He just they? had Josiah just like you had two. the same shirt on as, as Josiah um, yesterday. Man, you're observant. Good morning, buddy. They've been out here looking for you. Huh? Where you been? In the bus. <laughs> Sleeping. You comb your hair this morning? Oh, it looks good. Okay, you feel rested? Hey, why are you picking radishes? Cause they're ready. What? Oh, yum. Yummy, feel my tummy. <laughs> this, yeah. we sometimes we put them in salads. Okay, look who's woke up. You wanna come help milk the cows? Yeah. Now that we've got a bucket full of milk to make it cream, we're gonna run through this cream separator. What's your Say name? Hi. hi! Tessa. Tessa. Here comes the skim. Out the front. Yeah. The cream's gonna go out the back. The cream is coming down. Business up front, party in the back. This is like a mullet machine right here. What's a good use for that skim milk now? Pigs! You're gonna go to the pigs, they'll love it. Skim milk fattens pigs like nothing. Uh, Fattens people like nothing too, but they don't know that. And especially in the store, it's uh, they put non-fat dry milk into skim milk, and that's a recipe for heart disease because the the dried milk is uh, oxidized, completely oxidized. So that's wow. a complete recipe for heart disease. Skim milk is the worst thing you'd ever eat because without the fat, your body cannot use the protein, cannot digest and utilize the protein or the minerals in the milk. So skim milk is bad news. We do not sell skim milk at all. <laughs> you walking around the grass? His brother baby sent you this morning? <laughs> Look who's got her boots on. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, the beautiful one. Good morning. She sleep good? I did. You coming to see mom? Oh, it's good to be greeted like that. Yeah. Hi. Is mom pushing you? Yeah. High, really high. You don't want to just go a little bit. Yeah. You want to go all out. Do you want to go really high? Yeah. Is that really high? Here we go, look, before, really engorged, and now she's done, look at that. Good job, Stella. After milking, he puts them back out into the pasture, but he rotates the pasture every day, right? Yep. So now, they just so happen to be right by the milk parlor. You guys gotta remember it is winter here. So the grass is not, it's not jamming. 
And they haven't had rain in what, three months, Dennis? Well, about a month now, but we had a nine week drought in the fall when I was trying to get my winter grasses yeah. to come up, so. So everybody's a little thin coming into the end of the winter. But dairy cows naturally have a thin build. These guys will bulk back up, but not much. We're only talking like 20 pounds or so uh, as, the gra as spring comes and the grass begins to jam again. These calves had been pinned away from their mama. Dennis has told Dan to let down this gate. There you go, Dan, good job. So now the calves could go back to their mama. See that one with the ring? See that ring in its nose? That's a weaning ring. He does put that on at about eight or nine months old. So eventually he does wean them. They can still be with the mama, but they won't nurse. The calves were pinned in this pen since yesterday at about three or four o'clock. That gives the mother a break. That gets the mother, to, that enables the mother to store up some milk so that the farmers can harvest it. And now they'll get to go back and be with their moms and they'll nurse throughout the day. Little tiny one, brand new. How old's that one, Dan? Two, uh, two days, I think it's two days. That's your guess? Yeah, I hold them over talking about it. Yeah. All right, cowboy, let's get them. Look at the little one, Mr. Brown. That one's little one. That one's little like you. Let's get her out to her mom, Mr. Brown. You think she'll know which one is her mom? That. Oh, that one. There you go. We get to pet the calf. Here we have some uh, visitors to the farm. What are y'all's names? I'm Sandra. Hi, I'm Jenna. Hi. <gasps> Is this your first time petting a calf? No. Yeah. Uh, I mean, when I was like three years old, maybe, when I lived on a farm, but since then, no. It's probably been about 15 years for me. Ben, you know which one's her mom? I don't. <laughs> but her mom knows, knows who she is. No, that didn't take much. That's the good stuff. Philly. What I mean by imprinting is they're just basically getting the Philly very used to them. Spending a lot of time interacting with them when they're first born. So they're tying up the mama. Hey guys, you have to wear shoes to imprint. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I saw Stella wearing shoes this morning. I was shocked. What's up with that? Why were you wearing shoes? Milk of the cow. My feet to get. And then I have to go inside. So you do draw the line somewhere. Okay. She's naturally resistant of you guys, but you're gonna change that. Well, she's she's actually much calmer now that we've done the imprinting twice. Okay. But we're gonna do it two more times, and that'll just it'll just get her a lot calmer. Do you have a program you go through? Yeah. They've got to lay her down. <laughs> Look at those long legs on that thing. So which way are we leaning? There you go. Don't let it go. Come on, baby. Look, it draws a crowd. Dennis is even bringing out seats. There we go. Farm Fresh Entertainment over here, guys. So you're going back and forth on purpose? Yeah, we do it 50 times, and at any time if she struggles, then go back to one. Wow. She, she really doesn't like her nose touched. And that just gets her used to getting her nose touched. So now you just had to start over. <laughs> Is this part of the program too, really rubbing on the ears? Yeah, we just rub her all over the place. Oh, she seems to really like this, man. Look at this. Look at this. It, You're jumping was, right into this. It was pretty 
hard the first time, but she's gotten a lot better. <laughs> she laying back, but. Thanks ladies, you're doing a good job. Good girls there, good girls. We were coming inside for a moment, getting ready for our ice cream party. Monday, we have some cream. This cream been in the fridge? This is, this is the actual ice cream here. Oh, you've mixed. already made some ice yes. cream. Already mixed yeah. up. Okay, so she make the mix the ice cream. What are you putting it in there? This is vanilla ice cream, uh -huh. and it's... This is the canister where we turn it and freeze it. You put the ice cream in there. Which, what was the ice cream mixture? It's vanilla, so it's two quarts of cream, one quart of milk, three tablespoons of vanilla, um, oh we actually six dozen egg yolks. That's what makes it so good. Yeah. Yeah. Egg yolk what does the egg yolk do to it? It makes it uh, really it in, um, like a custard. Yeah. Uh, and it doesn't freeze right so away. solid when you use okay. that many egg yolks. Oh, and maple syrup. Mm. Uh, How much maple syrup? About one and three quarter cups. Okay, nice. So this meetup is Monday. You'd be crazy to miss it if you're anywhere near this place. This raw milk ice cream. Sweetened with maple syrup. So this is actually a health food, I would say at this point. Okay, so I'll leave info for that down in the description. Buddy, come on, work it out, work it out. You got um, this. Woo! Come on, Danny, your turn, buddy. Oh, he, spit, he pepped it up, pepped it up when he got the camera. Come on, man. It's your turn, Mr. Brown. Now you can say you helped you make help. the ice cream. Okay, I see the adults end up rounding it out because the kids quickly lose interest. All right, my turn. In the woods, so the water can come out. Slip this out of the ice and take it in. And wow, we did a good job. So, okay. give me the scraper. Nice. This morning you're milking and now you're making the good stuff. Yeah. To make it all worth it? Yeah. Let me see that ice cream dance. <laughs> oh yeah, is that the ice cream dance? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Josiah, can you do the ice cream dance? Lily, can you do the ice cream dance? Come on, this is your favorite dessert. Do the ice cream dance, Mr. Brown. Dan, can you show him how to do the ice cream dance? There you go. Come on, Mr. Brown. I see. Nobody had to call you guys for this. Did you notice that, Mom? I know. Somehow they knew. I had to get some for Mr. Brown. He couldn't. He can't contend. That really wasn't that bad hand cranking that. That didn't take any time. No, it wasn't bad at all. Now that the ice cream is made, it's time to go out in the field with the ladies and move the meat birds. Moving the electric fence out of the way. Look, Mr. Brown, look how everybody's grown. <laughs> You're a really good do guard dog, they said. She won't bite you. She won't bite you. She's nice to the humans. Oh, they're shooing the chickens out, Mom. Let's get out of the way. Uh-oh. We just got them out and they all went back around and back in. I've offered to help them herd. And as soon as we get the chickens out, the other girl can drive off before they get a chance to move back in. Come on. There it goes. <laughs> Look, at him Look at him chasing it, Brown. Look at him chasing it, buddy. Oh, look at him. Look at him running to get back. <laughs> They're running to get back in here, buddy. In no time, they've moved these guys to fresh grass. The chickens love it because they get can get up to 20% of their diet from the land. And the ground loves it because it gets all this fertilizer. We've got the chicks on new feed. They're as happy as can be. It's now the afternoon and we're separating the cows from the calves. He's got some hay for them since it's the winter and he's calling them in for it and that's then how he separates the calves from the cows. Come on! Come on! Come on! 
Come on. Come on, cows. Come on now. Come on. Come on, cows. They listen about like children. Come on. Come on, cows. Come on. Come on, Belle. Come on, you gotta lead. Keep going. I didn't call you to this. You know there's hay back there. Go get it. Come on. He's letting the mamas through. Separating, separating out any calves that made it this far. Smoked me. Essentially, he just let the big mamas through, blocked the little guys from going in, and he's going to get them some hay. And that way, the moms will build up milk and they can harvest it in the morning. There's the hay. There's a little hay for you. There you guys go. You cats got it made, you know that, right? Most dairy farmers pulling their cat. I don't even know if the calves ever get anything. So, you are a healthy bunch there.